Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I have a tag video lined up for you and it is 50 questions that you have never been asked before. So some of these questions I have been asked before and I have answered so I'm going to leave those out but I'll leave the links to the questions down below for you so you can go check it out if you like as well. I have my laptop here with all the questions on it so let's get on to the video. I'm going to keep these answers short and sharp. I'm going to try and not waffle on about everything because obviously there is probably going to be about 40 questions and we don't want this video to be too long. So yeah, let's get going. So the first question is, what is your favorite candle scent? So my favorite, I think I have two favorites at the moment. So they're both from Peter Alexander. The first one is the main Peter Alexander one, which I think is Taha, which is like the vanilla scented one. And there's also one called Rio de Janeiro, which is a red one, and they both smell amazing. Question number two, what is what female celebrity and male celebrity would you wish to have as your brother and sister? So, oh, that's, um, I think probably for sister either Lily Reinhardt, Lily Reinhardt or Camilla Mendes would be really cool to have them as a sister, like, I don't know. It would just be cool, but um, I think for my brother, I don't really know who I'd choose. Um, maybe like a singer, like Shawn Mendes or I don't know, someone like that would be really cool as well to have as my sibling. Okay, next question is, can you do the splits? So I used to be able to do the splits on my right leg. I don't know if I can still do them now. Um, definitely can't do the middle and I was never good at my left leg. So I used to be able to do right leg, but that's probably changed now because that was a few years ago. How old were you when you learned to ride a bike? I don't remember the exact age, but I think it was probably like three or four years old. Um, yeah, it must have been because we were in our rental property. Yeah probably three or four years old was when I learned. How many oceans have you swam in? So I've swam in the Pacific Ocean and the Antarctic, Antarctic? Atlantic, Antarctic Ocean, Jesus. Atlantic Ocean. How many countries have you been to? So I've been to six. So I've been to Australia, Vietnam, Cambodia, France, Germany, and Dubai. Is anyone in your family in the army? Nope. I don't have anyone in my family that is in the army. Yeah. What would you name your daughter if you had one? So I have this one name that I, Lila is the name that I have loved since I was younger. And I think it's a really cute name for a little girl. And the next question is what would you name your son if you had one? So the two names that I've loved for a little boy is either um, Jack or Noah. What is the worst grade you've got on a test? I think the worst grade I got in high school was not achieved, which um, for anyone that doesn't live in New Zealand and doesn't have grades like that, that's a fail, like value paper like an F. Um, so yeah, I've got, I think I've got that a few times, but I still passed the year, so I've graduated now, so yeah. Um, what was your favorite TV show when you were a child? Excuse me, I had two favorite TV shows when I was younger and they were High Five, the original, and The Wiggles, the original. Both of them were my favourite ones. What did you dress up as on Halloween when you were eight years old? So in New Zealand, well, not in New Zealand, probably in my family, we don't celebrate Halloween. Um, we don't dress up. We do still have candy at our house for people who do come and trick-or-treat. Usually there's not many, but we don't celebrate. When I was younger, we didn't celebrate it and we didn't go... Um, and get dressed up and go around the neighborhood. Would you rather have an American or a British accent? I think I would like to have a British, ac British accent just because my grandma is from England and I've actually never been over there before. Yeah, and I think the um, British accent is really cool as well. 19. Are your grandparents still married? Yes, both my sets of grandparents are still happily married and yeah. Have you ever taken karate lessons? 
I have not taken karate lessons. I think it would be quite cool to take karate lessons, but I haven't taken any before. What's What was the first amusement park you've ever been to? So when I was younger, my dad's family lives in Australia. So we used to go there, we still go there, but um, when I was younger, especially we went there quite a lot, probably every second or third year. And we went to the theme parks most of the time we were over there in the Gold Coast. And yeah, um, usually we went to Movie World or Dream World were the two popular ones that we went to. So probably one of them was my first ones. Do you spell the colour grey as G-R-E-Y or G-R-A-Y? So I spell the colour grey as G-R-E-Y. I don't know how everyone else spells it, but that's the way I spell it. Have you ever had Indian food before? Yes, I love butter chicken, basic, but I do love Indian. I love, especially when I was in Queenstown, there was this really good um, restaurant that me and my friends always went to for Indian because that was our favourite meal, so. Have you ever been to Olive Garden? No, so Olive Garden, I'm pretty sure, is only in the US and I haven't been to America before. So I might, if I go over there, I can try it, but I have not been there before, no. What would your parents have named you if you were the opposite gender? So I have asked my parents multiple times this question and they always say, oh, I forgot, oh, I don't know. Oh, probably just some basic name. Like they never give me a straight answer, so I, they probably have forgotten, because um, it was twenty years ago now. But I'm sure it would have been a great name if it was. I know my younger sister was going to be called Jonty at one stage, but that wasn't my name. If you have a nickname, what is it? So I have multiple nicknames. Uh, Maddie is actually my nickname. My real name is Madison. Um, but I have multiple nicknames from different people. So. Um, my dad calls me mad um, when I'm angry and when I'm not. Um, most people just call me Maddie. I have mad sometimes from all my friends. Um, yeah, usually mad's mad or Maddie is Maddie's the main one really. Can you whistle? Yes, I can whistle. Do you sleep with a nightlight? No, I don't sleep with a nightlight, but I used to up until we moved into this house, no, the house before, so in our old house, um, I used to sleep with the door open just because I didn't, I don't know, I liked a little bit of light coming in. Um, but then we moved into our rental property and they, I had to keep the door shut when I did night shift and from then on I kind of just kept the door shut because if I'd sleep in in the morning, my cat would always used to come in and just like jump on me and try and wake me up. And if anyone has cats, they know how that, probably with dogs, it's the same thing as well. But so now I just always keep my door shut. Sometimes I'll leave my bathroom door open and a little bit of light will come through. Um, if it's like bright, still bright outside or, um, yeah. Anyway, I don't sleep with the nightlight. You eat breakfast every morning. So when I was down at university, um, I never ate breakfast because that means I'd have to get up like an extra 20 minutes before school and that is not what I wanted to do. I wanted, I'd rather sleep so I decided that I wasn't going to eat breakfast. I got to school and by about 9.30 I was hungry, ate all my lunch by about 12 and then I had to go and buy myself lunch so in the long run at uni it was not a good thing but before I go to work, um, like when now that I'm back home, I have breakfast every single day, except if I'm except if I sleep in on my day off or after I've done a night shift. I usually get up at like ten thirty, or after I've done a night shift, it's usually one o'clock, but um, probably about ten thirty. So I have like a either early lunch or a like late breakfast, so like a brunch kind of thing. So it just kind of depends on what I'm doing for the day. What medical condition? What medical conditions do you have? So at the moment, I'm really lucky to say that I have no medical conditions. I kind of have like a bad hip, kind of. Um, probably not as bad as other people's hips, but that's the only thing that I would say is my issue. I do have blitheritis, um, which is an eye condition, but I don't really, um, I don't really say that's a medical condition, so. How many times have you been to the hospital? 
so I don't think I've ever been to the ho like a major hospital for myself um like i.e in like emergencies I've been there for like x-rays and like visiting people or going to get injections or something like that but I've only yet been to like a major hospital to get x-rays have you seen Finding Nemo? Of course I've seen Finding Nemo. I love Finding Nemo and Finding Dory is so good as well. That was all the questions. Let me know down below if you guys um, have never answered these questions before either. Some of these were a bit, I don't think I've told anyone any of these answers before. So I thought I'd share them with you guys and you guys can get to know me a little bit more. But I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next week with another video. Bye guys.